Hello, this is Michael Osborne with Webucator. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to convert strings in .NET back and forth to Base64 encoding. Now, this video is based on a blog entry by Robert Kane. Robert agreed to let us create this video discussing his article, which is available on his blog at the URL that you see here. So this process of converting strings to Base64 turns out to be fairly straightforward in .NET once you figure out which libraries you need to use. The first class you need to be familiar with is the system.convert class. Now system.convert exposes to us a couple of useful methods. There is the to base 64 string and the from base 64 string. So it seems like it would be fairly straightforward to do these conversions and for the most part it is, but we want to run into one small problem. You'll notice if you look at the to base 64 string method that this expects an array of bytes and we're dealing with a string. Now you would think the string class would give you a handy dandy method to make your conversions to a byte array, but of course that's not the case. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to use one of the classes in the system.txt namespace. In this case specifically we're going to use the ASCII encoding class. Now notice you don't have to use ASCII encoding. ASCII encoding is fairly common and it's going to be useful in most cases where we're trying to do this, but you'll notice there classes here for pretty much any type of UTF, for Unicode, whatever, just choose the appropriate coding method based on what you need. So let's go take a look at some code that implements this. I have here a simple program and in this program I have an encode 264 method. In the encode to 64 method you notice we begin by declaring a byte array called the to encode as bytes and we assign to it system.txt.ascii encoding dot ASCII dot get bytes passing in the to encode string that's been received. This will take our string and convert it into a byte array. Then we simply call the system convert to base 64 string passing in that to encode as bytes and store that in a return value and return it. Piece of cake, we have now taken our string and turned it into base 64. So what about the other direction, suppose I have base64 and I want to get a string back. Well, I've got another method to handle that. You'll notice here I've got a method called decode from 64. And in this method, I declare a byte array encoded data as bytes. I assign to it this call to system.convert.fromBase64 string passing in the encoded data. I then call the system.txt.ascii.encoding.ascii.get string from the encoded data as bytes, store that in a string called return value, and then return the value. So, piece of cake, I have here a very simple little set of methods that allow me to both encode to 64 and decode from 64 when I'm starting with a string. Now the only thing remaining is to test it out, so you'll notice I have in my main method I have some code where I will declare a string that I'm going to encode. I then say string my data encoded equals encode 264 my data and I will then write that out to the console which will show me the encoded string. Then I decode from 64 and again write that out to the console to show me the decoded string and finally I've got a little console read line to make it stop and wait for me. So let's see what happens when we run this. When I execute that, you'll notice in the first line there, I have the encoded base64 value. In the second line, I have the decoded value. All right, I'd like to again thank Robert Kane for the inspiration for this video. Be sure and check out his blog at the URL you see here for some other great articles related to programming in .NET. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it.